Often people going into college are like, I've got to make this decision that's going to be the rest of my life. And it's not. Hi, my name is Karina McCoskow from Academic Influence, and I'm here with Professor Ford, who is a professor of physics. And I am really excited for this interview because um, we have a lot of students who come to this website. And you grew up and went to school in Canada, but then you went to grad school in the United States. So I think you will have some really great advice for students who are not only going to college, but if they're going international for college, or if they're staying at home, but um, traveling a little bit. So just starting off, I wanna hear how um, that experience was for you and how you decided um, to go to school um, where you went. Yeah, so I guess coming out of high school, first of all, uh, I looked at a number of different schools and in the end, I felt like staying close at the university closest to home, which was University of Toronto, had the best options for courses for me. So I was interested in sciences, but also in history and languages, and it seemed like I could do both. Um, so I lived in residence, even though I could have stayed at home because I really wanted that experience of like being at college and meeting new people. So I ended up in chemical physics uh, there. And when I was finishing up, I thought I want to go to grad school somewhere, looked at programs, talked to my uh, professor who was my research supervisor. And he said, you should go consider going to the States. Like all the really good programs in this area in Canada are very close to here. And it's good to broaden your horizons and do different things, grow your network. And so I ended up applying to a number of American schools and choosing University of Chicago for grad school. Wow, that is so fantastic. And I love the fact that you stayed really close to home for college and then went far away from grad school because I think a lot of, well, at least for me, a lot of the schools near me, I've kind of overlooked until I've started looking at colleges and I find out that they're actually fantastic programs. So, um, and college is one of those experiences where I feel like people really want to spread your wings, but how did you find, um, did you find it uh, difficult to go to school so close to you? Or did you feel like you could really grow and spread your wings? Yeah, I mean, I really treated it as if I were far away. So I didn't, <laughs> I didn't go home most weekends. I, I mean, I did occasionally see my parents and so on. But um, it was a real advantage, I thought, to, to just having that away from home experience, living in residence, it was as if I were elsewhere exploring the city, so with different friends and with a different perspective. Um, so it worked out really, really well. It was a great school. I made some amazing friends and learned a lot too. Wow, that's fantastic. And I also wanted to hear, how did you decide to um, go into physics? So I always, always really liked physics um, and math and chemistry, particularly math, I think I, I particularly liked, and, but I just couldn't see myself being a mathematician. Uh, so I, I just took the, the sciences. I did not like biology at all in school and steered away from it. And so it's kind of ironic that now my area of research is biophysics research. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I enjoyed it. And so when I was choosing my major after my first year, I thought, well, I really like my chemistry courses and I really like my physics courses and my math courses. And so chemical physics seemed to be a good choice. I stayed in that general area in uh, grad school for my PhD and then got into biophysics as a postdoc. And so I've always been at the sort of the interface of physics and other fields. I, I think I really like those connections between different fields of science. Wow, that's fantastic. And what kind of made you change your mind on biology? <laughs> so uh, I guess I was proudly ignorant for a while and then realized that I should not be proud nor ignorant. Um, it was during my PhD towards the end of it. We had a really amazing seminar series one year where um, all of the seminars that were normally in physics and, and physical chemistry were devoted to biophysics. The faculty decided they wanted to uh, learn more about biophysics. It seemed like an exciting area. They wanted to hire in that area, but they didn't know much themselves. And so every week they got in like a world leader in a different area of biophysics to give a seminar. And I was just fascinated. I thought this was so cool. And 
like biology was not just observation, but like there were knobs you could turn and test hypotheses and so on. And, and so from that, I was like, okay, I need to learn more about this and uh, switch directions for my postdoc then. Uh, that is so interesting. And could you just give us a brief rundown of what you've been studying lately? Yeah, so I guess I study two kind of related things. I, I like to look at the molecular scale, which is the smallest possible scale for biology. Um, so one set of projects deals with molecular motors, which are made out of proteins and transport things within our cells. And so trying to understand how they work. And we've also been sort of trying to build them anew by taking proteins and repurposing them into making new motors. Um, the other part of my research deals with another protein that's called collagen. And collagen is the building block for all of our tissues in our bodies. And we're trying to understand uh, what it is that gives it its remarkable properties and how it balances sort of stability and structural support. Wow, that is so interesting. And I'm sure that you'll get into more of the scientifics of your work um, in the next interview. So kind of switching gears a little bit, uh, like I said, a lot of the people who come to this website are young people who are trying to figure out what they wanna do. And so do you have any advice to people who are maybe thinking about going into physics or maybe we're like you and didn't like biology, but um, do you have any advice for them going forward? Yeah, I mean, I would say find what interests you and study more about it. Uh, it's, it's always a good suggestion and keep your options as open as you can. Know that you're not sort of pigeonholing yourself into something with that very first decision. Like I think often people going into college are like, oh, I've got to make this decision that's going to be the rest of my life. And it's not like when I applied to university, actually, uh, or college, um, I applied to study history and political science. And then I got accepted for that, but then decided I'd go to the more science routes that I'd always also found interesting. Um, so you just don't know, right? And, and look at me in biology. So, so I think learning things that interest you, not being afraid to, to, to learn new things, take courses that are interesting, like college is the time to do that, right? Like explore different areas just because. <laughs> well, that is some fantastic advice. And I love to hear that um, you completely switched what you thought you were going to do going into college because we have talked to a lot of people on here and yeah, very few of them knew what they were doing going into college or even coming out of college. So, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. It was really such a pleasure getting to talk with you. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.